And you can you know that your club is really heavy. Finance. Yeah. Okay. Your yeah. numbers are way above uh, what's the, what most people are using. Um, what do you mean by that? So there should be you the, are the mass of the club is uh, heavier than a typical. The swing weight is also higher. The set the moment inertia is also higher. Uh, so is it in your idea to swing faster to hit this one, or if, if, if do I swing too fast to this one? Part of the reason why you cannot release, yeah. why you cannot use the wrist of that uh, well, is because the head, the head is too heavy. Oh, okay. But it's heavy that when you, you try to use uh, more peripheral muscles, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, harder. Yeah. So then you would naturally develop a dragging head. Yeah. So is this club as it is designed for something with higher swing speed or lower swing speed? Uh, it's not a better swing speed. Oh. For you, for the, for your swing swing to see is too heavy. Okay. So consider they are using something lighter. Okay. Something lighter. I wonder if I can just take out the weight. You can play with the weight, but if you remove the weight, this will be too too light. Okay. So uh, you can you can use it in a different way. Okay. But, um, the your curve is too heavy, then naturally you will develop a dragging pen because it's not easy to let it go. Huh. When you try to uh, use your wrist more. The table could have put a lot of building on the wrist. Alright. Uh -huh. That's something you have to pay attention to. Alright. Okay. But stay with, with your club. Now it's a lot less flexible. Uh-huh. So typically your forearm motion and the wrist motion are important. Okay. Uh, Alright, so stage three. Mm. Give it more time at the top. More time at the top. Ah, when they keep good wind up. Just add, add an extra short time. Yes, yes, yes. Then bouncing is automatically more active. Yes. Yes, that time is about that. Yeah, that time is about that. And then have the image of uh, hitting a, a big drum. Yeah. When you when you hit the drum, you don't hit and then keep pushing. Yeah. When you keep push pushing, then if it's in contact with the, the surface, then it actually uh, kills the sound, right? Yeah. You have to boom, boom. Yeah. like that. So swing and then let it go. Snapping and then let it go. Uh, it's more like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now the, the finish position is a lot bigger. But then it, is, it doesn't, it shouldn't go too high in the back too. There's still good wind up here. Okay. But from here, almost like hitting the drum, okay. they let the head go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then at the end, your club head goes here. Finish here instead of stopping somewhere. Finish more like. Ah, uh, sorry. What do you mean by that? Like you let the club go. Oh, just let it pull your release. Yes, yeah, because you are you are letting go. Yeah. Okay. Hitting the drum. Boom. Yeah. But yeah. so now it's a lot easier. It yeah. looks easier here. Yeah. If you are not fighting. Yeah. Just let it release. So when you put a lot of effort in the part of the what happens is yeah. Instead, it's a yeah. Instead. It's a lot of release. Set the speed here and then let go. Oh, I'm feeling that now. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. That way you can actually better maintain the plan. Okay. If you're not intentionally trying to manipulate it. Yep. Yeah. And now, try to touch the tip of the short tip. The short tip. The short tip, yeah, yeah. Hit the ground. Uh, is it too too far this way? But the thick position. I can move it to the next position.
So this is uh, what you need to do a lot. Yeah. You practice state three a lot, okay? Uh, using different devices. Yeah. Particularly sports are important to use different uh, devices. Yeah. Then uh, it'll give you different uh, uh, level of uh, burden on the body. Okay. But if your body handles well of all of these, that means uh, your body is uh, aware of uh, the inertial characteristics of the device. Okay. And then your body can easily adjust the motion. Okay. And then I use the club that introduces a target, mm -hmm. which is a rubber. Rubber is actually good, but yeah. initially use a long one uh -huh. to touch the tip. Yeah. And then gradually okay. use a short one yeah. and then still touch the tip. That way you can maintain the accuracy. And I need to do more speed on the kapow part, right? But kapow should keep good wind up. Pow! But, and then it's not coming this way, rather coming this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going straight up. Yep. Oh, man. You, you keep, uh, if you the back swing, you keep pulling this way. Yeah. If your weight is moving slowly, then when you try to start the motion, then you tend to go this way. Yeah. Okay. But the, because we have trigger motion, with the trigger, and then let it go. Wow. Yeah, and then the, the club is a bit too heavy for you. Yeah, you are a strong guy, yeah. but still I think the club is a bit too heavy. Yeah. When I was uh, looking at your club numbers, it was a bit, a bit high. Usually, I don't know if it's because I was like nervous or what, but usually I'm, my club head speed around 110. So, but even if I, and this isn't a club head speed, then this is just like something else. So, what I see here is, uh, in, in these days, is uh, infla inflation of the club numbers. Oh, okay. I don't know why, but uh, club fitters tend to uh, recommend the heavier ones. Okay. okay. And uh, you feel strong. But actually, when the clay is too heavy, then you cannot release it that way. Yeah. Then you start to develop the drag there. Yeah, okay. But think when you have a crossover, that you have a uh, you know, heavy uh, uh, club head away from the swing plane, that you have to pull it in quite a bit. Okay. Do you know what weight they should put it in? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, my driver, I, I bought the different uh, weights okay. uh, from Amazon, and yeah. I played with those. But okay. you can do the same thing. If you were in search on Amazon, you would be able to uh, find the different weights. Okay. So buy different weights and then put them, start with the uh, lighter one. Okay. And you should be able to feel, you know, the release and then gradually increase the weight and you know, until you have put balance of the release and uh, you know, yeah. uh, effort. Okay. But uh, I think it's too, too, too heavy for me. But again, stage three. You pull the clip and slide inward this time in the downstream. That happens when you use a heavy clip. You tend to drag it. Okay. So you have to let it go release okay. using the speed and the let go. Now, look at this. So, uh, currently, your swing plane is well established. Mm -hmm. So, we don't have to worry about the swing plane. Okay. Then, all you do is just increase the speed and then reverse the direction of the room. Okay. Look at the swing plane. This reason. Mm -hmm. Are you worried about like the backs, the top of the backswing is so like far 
not necessarily no, no, the budget that allowed it looks allowed more comfortable. Okay. Because you're letting for. So it's okay that this is past parallel? Mm -hmm. Like that? No problem. Okay. So actually, as long as it's not across. Actually, when you try to limit the vector, you try to hold it here. You have to rush the dust. Oh. Okay, so this is this is actually like if it's below parallel, that's okay. Like this, okay. it's just if it's across, that's the problem. Okay. So regardless of the size of the string, as long as the the shot stays parallel to the string plane, that is okay. Yeah. But the kilometer deviates more from the end uh, severely, the best crossover, regardless of the size of the vector. Yeah. So when people have a crossover problem that they tend to shorten the vector, but still it's a crossover. Yes. Got it. Although it looks like it's a light better, but yeah. still, still the clever head is deviating from the So this is, this is fine here. Mm. Yeah. And then has you just don't want this. this. No, no, no. So that one comes from lifting your right elbow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's more like yeah. Um, and I try to throw the clip at this. Okay. Hold me. And then the trigger motion. Trigger motion should show the, the swing plane you want to use the later in the bouncer. So you have to move the club head along the swing plane you want to use. Okay. That's a bit too, uh, too hard. You're going too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So you're already setting the, the, the guideline here. Yeah. This is uh, this. This tells you uh, which suit plane you will use. Okay. And then come back and stick to the same suit plane. Yes. Yeah. Wow. This is so. This is good enough, but this is okay. Mm. It's just that. So mm. And that makes so much sense that. So when people are across the line, a lot of times they'll just, including me, you, they shorten your, their swing, but you're still across the line. You just can't see it because it's not. So garbage. sometimes when you just look at the, from the down to the when you have a shorter back swing, even if it's a crossover, but when you have a bit shorter back swing, it looks okay. Yeah. But still, this is a swing plane here. This deviation versus the head deviation, the clever deviation is a lot bigger than head deviation. It's a crossover. Yeah. Yeah. But because it's uh, actually smaller, it looks uh, not too bad. But if you continue this, then you're going to this position here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. It's, uh, it's important to keep the club third to the swing. Yeah. Come okay. And then, so essentially, all we do is just throw the club in both directions. Mm -hmm. And then, what we do is just reverse the direction and throw it here, reverse the direction and throw it here. Because the swing plane is well established, yeah. we don't introduce a lot of motion perpendicular to the swing plane. Mostly it's along the swing plane. Throw this way and then reverse direction and throw this way. Yeah. So you're pretty much moving along the swing plane here. Throw up and then let it go. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, back to what we were talking about with the data. Basically, I was doing like a early. Yeah, I mean, really quick, fast initially, quick, and then I, turn like, in. yeah. So I go like, Duh! like that, and it really should be more like. So here, so the reason why I ask you to say kapow is that kapow, yeah, yeah. kapow is that of a pow. Yeah, yeah. So could actually I didn't uh, emphasize this, but could. In the shift motion. So before you go turn this way, shift kapow and then kapow and then kapow. And then when you do an actual swing without the trigger motion, just use a kapow kapow. Kapow kapow. And then instead of lifting this, let it go around. Mm -hmm. Throw, throw. It's more throwing which So automatically it will go around if I in place. That's good. Yeah. And then have at the end, but at the extra shoulder turn, just 
how could this with the body to remember what the brain wave was doing? Yeah. Up here, and then this motion here. Yeah. And this start this way here, the let it go, instead of using arms only. Wind up and then unwind. Yes. Mmm. Got it. All right. At this time, you stand up too early. Stand up and then now lay back this hand in. Kick. Your little leg kick promotes this turn. Okay. And it's not just a standing up, but rather swing through. Yeah, it's right on, right? Yeah. I think this is because of the clip, uh, because the clip is too heavy. Really? Okay. When the clip is too heavy, then you have to drag it. So yeah. you tend to open the chest early and then drop this. Got but it. instead, wind up and from here you should withdraw. Okay. As if you are exercising with the wire, uh, with the, the, the weight attached. Okay. Then you're pulling the wire this way. Mm -hmm. The wire is running this way and the weight over there. Imagine that you're pulling the wire this way. Mm. Mm. Is that all? Put the wire this way. Okay. Yeah. Put this way. So uh, let's go to the top, go to the top. Let's imagine this is wire. If I'm holding here. Yeah. I try to turn the body and then pull this down. Uh, you don't have that much pulling force. Right. No, 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 no. So you, by turning the body, you should generate good pulling force. Turn the body and then pull. Like this? Yeah. yeah. Your body is, yeah. So this is what's important. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So again, go back here. So from here. So from the beginning, instead of dropping this, just to try to turn and pull it from the beginning. Uh, at the beginning, you just try to turn your. Oh, do you both at the same time? Not really pulling the club damage. Okay, do you both at the same time? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Using the leg action. Turning the pelvis is not important. Yeah. But using the legs, try to turn the whole body and then pull. Yes, by using the low body. This is what happens when you have wire running this way. The pull. Right. <clears throat> then with that, you can throw. Okay. You have to actually have more wind up, put more effort in creating the wind up. If you have good wind up, the automatically you will, uh, the dogs will be more active. And then throw, throw. Okay. And then all the way down, try to go a bit flat. Go more flat. Yeah. Instead of dropping. That's better, that's better, that's better. Yep. So your body turns better. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. So also, your left leg is more active. Yeah. So, but before you do this, practice the state clear line. Okay. When your body used to, get used to it, then you have natural rhythm. Yeah. It's also easier to have an active breath. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. The, now, now the circulation is a lot better. Yeah. That means that you know what to do to uh, yeah. generate the, the task, right? Yeah. If the task is moving the a little bit, nice and around the about. Yeah. Through the key. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just, uh, just to find the uh, club a bit lighter than this and uh, try it, see okay. what happens. That's the club head that's you have in the shower. The, the overall, the mass is also higher than typical. Okay. And then the swim weight is also higher. The MOI was higher. But in general, the whole thing is a bit uh, heavy. Okay. But um, so if you find something like this, see how it goes. Okay. And then you should be able to release. Yeah. Release more than that. Okay. And if you don't, you cannot release, then it's because of the, the heaviness of the club. Okay. You tend to drag it, then the body opens it. Yeah. And typically, what happens is uh, you don't want to fight with the inertia of the club, then the string becomes flexible and the shorter. 
and then you earn open the value early yeah. when it's ahead. Mm. That's a natural response. Okay. But you need to have a reliable one. Mm -hmm. Let go all the way, you go right up from here, straight through. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome.